was busy in between episodes. Hello everyone, my name is Maltmari and welcome back to my survival series. As you saw, I've been grinding, collecting materials, AFKing at my farms, um, just because today is a big day. We are finally making a prismarine farm, finally. And I'm going to make it pretty. That's the plan, at least. <laughs> As you may know, prismarine is blue. So I decided to use a lot of blues and cyans in this build, so I think I'll need a lot of dyes. That's why in between episodes I made a little makeshift flower farm and I got a shulker full of blue orchids. I also got myself tons of gravel to make concrete, because um, you know, <clears throat> we have enough sand, <laughs> I hope at least. <laughs> oh, and yeah, this. 10 shulkers of quartz. Two days of work and I really realized I need to make a quartz farm with piglins and such. But yeah, we're going to need a lot of quartz. Oh, and moss, of course. And while I was in the nether, I got myself 20 wither skeletons skulls, which will come very handy someday, I am sure. So this is a hole. We drained the ocean monument in the last episode. If you didn't see that, you should definitely check it out. Here you have a link. So the farm will be quite huge. <laughs> there will be two big water tanks uh, as a spawning areas for guardians. They will all be transported to one simple water system and they'll fall into their death to our future collection system. I will be using a tutorial from that moonshine, something like that. Uh, and he's using a farm design from Isco85. The link will be in the description. And I just realized that I don't have glass. Well, that won't be enough to the villagers then. So I spent the next hour or so trading books for, for bookshelves and glass. Okay, two shulkers should be enough, but I would like to, to make them white. Do we have... Oh, we do. Great. I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. And now two and a half shulkers of quartz without a farm. Can you imagine? <laughs> okay, so here is the center part of the monument. Uh, I marked it out, but this beacon has to go. Now it's sitting right where the farm is going to be. Okay, let's get our stuff placed down and ready and let's start with building the water tanks. structure. I put dirt instead of soul sand for now just to make it easier for me later uh, and I am trying to be smart and before I put water inside the boxes I want to have a small collection system so the fishes would have somewhere to die and they won't just be flipping around and killing me all the time. Yeah, uh, so I need to dig down and play with some redstone. I'm not excited for that but we need to do this. Let's do this. something interesting? Nope. Okay, you don't. Um, so I did a thing. This is a little collection area. Don't worry, I will make it pretty later. Um, and I made this simple little redstone system and let me just quickly explain it. So the level of the hoppers is the level on which when the guardians fell, they die from fall damage. And if we flick this lever, the Y level is one higher and the guardians don't die from falling, but they are one hit, basically. So this is for getting more loot with looting sword and some XP maybe. Okay, uh, so now when that's done, I can go ahead and fill the first tank with water. I started with making a dirt platform and placing water on top of it. Then I destroyed it and I let the water fall all the way down. Then it was time to start placing kelp to transform all of that flowing water to source blocks. And 
it was a pain <laughs> but I didn't want to bone mill it because I have too much kelp in my storage and I wanted just to use it for something but later I just gave up and started bone milling it okay it's done and what now um, I'm trying to think about what to do to make it easier in the future uh, and I think the good idea will be to make a second layer under the floor because I will have to break the bottom dirt layer and place soul sand so yeah um, it make it messy so let's make it easier okay now it's time to finally break all of that kelp and now we need to replace the dirt with soul sand like that the fishes are flying up, that's a good sign. They are jumping out of the farm, so we need to make them go to the collection area because it's getting really laggy in here. And also we have to have a water stream to push them to the middle, so I need to temporarily cover the top layer. And now we place water only on this wall. Let's see if it's working. I think something's broken. Uh, yeah couple minutes of brainstorming later and I managed to make it working perfectly fine. Water in Minecraft can be funny. <laughs> Guardians are spawning, they are pushed right into their death. Great. <laughs> okay, now I know how to make it, so I will quickly do the second water tank and I'll be right back. The second tank is done, so now we can cover the top of the main farm structure up. For some reason, guardians are spawning more frequently while being under some kind of a roof. The farm is working! Yay! We're getting shards and crystals. So now we can focus on making this place look pretty. I have a rough idea of what I want to do, the colors and all of that, but yeah, we'll see what we end up with. Um, so I want to make a lot of circles with walkways, greenery and different sizes on a different heights maybe. Um, I mean, we'll see. <laughs> but firstly, I will make the first walkway all around the drain area and flatten it up to the same Y level. That may help. So let's do this. So this is what I did. This outer part is going to be a main walkway, I think. <laughs> and from it, I marked out where the four other paths leading to the middle will be. One on each side. I hope you can understand what I'm saying. I think it's going to be nice. In terms of color palette that I will use, I brought here all of the sand, gravel and dyes. I mean, I still need to smelt the cactuses, um, so we can make a lot of cyan concrete. Uh, so let's do this right now. I am out of coal, yes. This should be enough. So here we are going to use cyan concrete on the outside, concrete powder and prismarine bricks inside. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. Great. And now this color scheme all the way around the circle. Okay, let's get to work then. So it's done. The first ring at least. So you can see I added those water sources just because if you stand here without an elytra I can just jump down. Ta -da! And here as I said I will make some walkways leading to the collection area which means we need to go down. For now let's mark out another circle maybe with moss because why not? Okay, here it is. It's starting to look good. This is our first mossy and green ring. I used some frog lights to light it up and I covered it with carpet. Yeah, I start to see where we're going with this project. Ooh, uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I almost died. <laughs> and from now we need to go down and let's say four or five blocks. Um, and we need to make a matching staircase from here. Something like that. And of course, make it in every side way. Okay, let's start making another ring then. I 
dug down and I made a slightly more narrower walk side, also in blue, <laughs> but this time without prismarine bricks, as you can see. And I left those walls this high because I have an idea to make rooms with glass wall to, you know, observe the farm and make notes of how the farm works um, or study guardians or something like that, like little observatories. Um, so let's do this. I'm very excited for this part. I really have an idea in mind. Okay, I finished one part. Um, it looks like this from up above. But it's even better as you walk in. And now you can see my idea, the big glass wall to make this room an observatory. Um, maybe in the future we'll make some kind of uh, interior with big tables, with buttons to control the farm or just bring here villagers to trade fishes. I am not sure yet, but that's a future me problem. Now I need to repair my tools because they are almost broken and finish this project. To the nether! Something happened to my replay file, but those observatories are done from the outside, at least. Um, they look great, um, but oh, slime. But as you can see, I didn't dig it fully out yet. Um, it's such a big project. I promise you guys that the next episode won't be as time consuming as this one. <laughs> maybe something more chatty and chill, maybe. But now we are so close to finishing this area, there's no coming back. So now I need to move the beacon once again because its power doesn't reach this far. Uh, and then there will be two-ish more rings to make. Maybe this hole will be a good place for a beacon. Let's set it up. Dug it out, added some greenery, and the observatories have a great view on the farm itself. Um, I marked out the last circle, roughly, as you can see, and it will be the smallest one with only collection system. I still need to connect all of the paths, but I can see the end, guys. We are on a good way. I really like it. Let's get to grind then. Okay guys, the rings are done, kinda. <laughs> there are still a couple of things that I'd like to add. The first one is this um, edge border. It's bothering me. So let's change the stone to quartz to match the whole place. Ooh, that's going to be a problem. Um, we need to be careful then. No, 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 no. And now to repair it all. I realized that I didn't show you this killing chamber. I added my banners and you can walk, and uh, not this way, um, you can walk inside to see the chests and redstone and all of that. Uh, and now it's overflowing. Okay, that's great, we need to empty them. As I am looking at this empty cube of a farm, I realized that I need something more and I am thinking about making some kind of organic bluish vines growing from those lower green parts and kind of entwine the whole farm. Wow, that was a very difficult sentence. <laughs> Maybe it will make it look less cube-like. <laughs> okay, but firstly, to make them, we'll need some materials. How much copper do we have? Mm, not much. 
we need to age it then. Now warped wood will be... Okay, let's collect some more. I believe that this place is a great area to age copper. Really, like, it's made for it. <laughs> okay, that's quite a lot of copper. <laughs> and now we wait. And I will need some glow lichen. If you want to know how to build a simple glow lichen farm, I have a short tutorial. You can check it out. Okay, I think about cyan concrete, then warped wood or hi-fi prismarine, prismarine bricks and copper. Yeah, shallow but visible. Okay, great. Let's start the last time lapse and finish this place up. finest job but it wasn't easy to surround a cube with vines <laughs> but it looks good of course let me know what do you think about it um, what would you change uh, you know feedback is always welcome but you know what I am missing some flowers and I'm thinking about those pitcher ones from sniffers they might look good in here hello there how are you guys I am here for some flowers don't worry about me and perfect, <laughs> much better. And it's done, finally, it took me two weeks again. <laughs> As I said, I'll try to make the next episode less time consuming and it will release quicker. I will try, you can't blame me. I love grinding in Minecraft. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know what do you think about our new prismarine farm. Mm -hmm. Oh God, I really need a quartz farm, do I? <laughs> Okay, leave a like if you had a nice time, subscribe to my channel, check out our Discord server, all of the links are in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!